VSDC video editor tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can use the VSDC video editor as a absolute beginner and how it is a very great program for video editing. So a lot of people recommend Adobe Premiere Pro, but that is something that can be very pricey. And if you're just starting out as a beginner, you might want to opt for VSDC as it is available for free. And then you can move on to maybe even higher leveled up versions of VSDC or Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. First off, this is the basic home screen of VSDC and obviously you're going to have to download it first and then you're going to have to install the VSDC project. After that, this is going to be your home page. You can see their top features over here. So they have 360 or 3D video editing, they have motion tracking, they have edit the beat, they have a AI art generator, video effects, UHD and HD blending modes, masking tools, and chroma key. After that, they also have their waveform, 3D pro charts, and multimedia combiner. So they offer a very large variety of services in terms of value for this free program. It is a very top-notch high-end video editor. Now you can see on the top over here, we have a start project now, and we can create blank project. So we can start off with a video, or we can create a slideshow. We can also import content and start editing our videos. We can also do screen capturing using VSDC. And a lot of people have to download separate softwares to do that, but you can do that with VSDC as well. You also have a screen capturing facility on VSDC. On the top, you have your project, your scenes, edit. So, so there's just a basic ribbon on the top for all of the major tools that are gonna be used. Now, getting started into editing, you're just gonna click on blank project and then you can add your project title. So let's just say we are doing Pokemon. I don't know why this, that just popped up in my head, but then you're gonna change to the device you want this to be on. So let's just say on YouTube, then you're gonna change the resolution of the video you want to create. So if you're creating a 4K video, if you're creating just a HD video, a 720p video, it just totally depends on you. And then you're gonna go on and select the frame rate that you want to work with. Now, the default is a 30 FPS per second. So 30 frames per second, but I'm gonna reduce it a bit to 10 frames per second. And then you can select your background and then you're gonna select the height and width of the basic empty canvas that you want. You can also make your empty canvas white if that's something you work with. A lot of graphic designers would opt for white because that is usually the standard background for most graphic design tools. Now then you're going to select your width and height depending on whatever you're creating and you can also change the frequency. So we're going to opt for 8000 hertz and then we're going to click on finish. Now this is the working space of VSDC video editor. So on the left you can see these little tiny little toolbars and these are all the things you can add and edit in your blank canvas. You can see over here you have multimedia, you have your sound, images, you have video, then you also have text, you have shapes, lines, you also have your cursor selection, then over here you have cut, copy, paste, all these basic editing buttons obviously. And then at the bottom you have your layers basically. So the different layers that you have placed onto your canvas can be seen over here. And on the far left, you're gonna have your different scenes. So if you've added an image and then you've added a video after it, and then you've added another image, you're gonna uh, see them in terms of scenes over here. Now on the right side, you have your project settings. So your general project details are gonna be present over here. Now over here in your preview section, if you look below it, you have your basic timeline and, the, and on the timeline you have your layers. Now I'm going to upload a image just to show you guys how it's going to look like once you start working on this video editor. So I'm just going to start off with the image and it's going to give you different options to edit this image. Now you can just do a right click on the media that you have imported and then you get different options such as the orders, the alignment. So you have some general alignment rules that can be applied to your image or your video as well. So if I wanted to make it the same width or if I want to align it to the left, if I want it aligned 
maybe to the top obviously it's going to be edited according to that i can also resize my images or videos within the preview section so i don't have to worry about editing it from the timeline down below i can just do it from the top and now if you add two media things over one another so if i add another image onto this layer i have no idea what image is actually gonna appear but i'm just gonna add it and obviously you can uh select the object position within the timeline so you can add it to your cursor position or you can add it to the start of the scene or to the end of the scene and you can unlock the start and end positions of the scene that totally depends on you obviously this is going to make it a whole lot easier when you're adding media content so if you're adding images if you're adding videos then this is going to make it very easy to keep on adding them because you can select the position uh, automatically wherever to add your uh, different media plugins now let's just say you want to end add it to the end and then you can also select the duration you want this image to appear for like so and here we have this image. I had no clue what images I was working with currently, I must say. And now you can see, you can move this bar and you can see how long it, an image is going to last. Now, I'm going to shorten these and I'm going to move this. So you can move it to the layer below or you can keep it at the same layer. But if you move two images together like so, it's going to cause a overlap and the overlap is obviously not going to appear, make both of the images appear. So one image is going to appear over the other or you can either blend the images. If you take a look at the left over here, I have the option to blend the images. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to do that by aligning both of these together. So I'm going to move them together. Now I'm going to shorten these out as well because these are too long you just move this uh, bar and you can shorten the amount of time it is appearing on the screen now you can either work in seconds or you can also work in frames so if you click on this icon over here this clock icon you can change it to frames and then you can change it to time that's totally up to you what i'm going to do is i'm going to zoom out and i'm going to reduce it like so and now you can see if both of these are overlapping you can't really see either now you can choose to blend these so if you press this you're gonna have a blending option there are a lot of blending options you can select from you can also decrease or increase the opacity of one image and you you're also going to get the general properties of this image on the right side over here now if you were to leave it as is obviously it's gonna <laughs> create some issues and it's not gonna help you out so i'm gonna place this over here so this image had a white background you can see over here and I'm going to place it like this. And you see both of these are overlapped, but I have blended them together. You can choose a lot of blending options. So let's just say we're going to clear this. You can do that. Or you can just source in the image, make it appear on top. You can also use a bunch of other filters that are going to highlight or remove some of the general imagery within your image. So if you cut out the shades and if you lower the exposure or decrease uh, some of the highlights you can blend in both of these images together if you decrease the opacity we can have it like so and like that you're gonna have your images overlap and you can move this cursor to see how it's gonna look in each frame and you can just change that as it is obviously that's gonna be far more effective in video editing as compared to picture editing or picture edition now i'm going to add a video and show you guys how to edit that as well so i have this video and you can see our video has been added into our fourth layer now i'm just going to remove the initial two images because they don't serve any purpose anymore we're going to just start working on our video now what i'm going to do is i'm going to move this to the back and i'm going to shorten it like so and I'm going to move my cursor to the start to see what it looks like. So this is our video. And it's a very short little video that I added. You can see how each frame looks. Now, a good thing about VSDC is it allows you in preview editing. So if I just click on this video, 
I can see a lot of different uh, editing options. So I can change the layer that this is present on. I can also change the alignment, the size of this image or this video. I can split the video. I can convert it to sprite. I can create a movement map. I can add video effects. So that's something that's pretty efficient in terms of long-term editing because you're going to be editing a lot if you're a video editor and you want these tools to be accessible without any hassle and without being irritated to open up an individual tab. So let's just add a glitch effect and you can add a glitch effect as well. Now you can move it to a layer below if you want, that's totally up to you. And this is how it's going to look like with a glitch effect. Now, if you want to add some geometric shapes or if you want to add some text to your video, you can see if you just click on your video over here, you're going to get this toolbox on the side. You can see these tools and you're just going to click on text over here and add your text. So if you want to add text to a certain position of the video, so let's just say we want our text to start appearing after 0 0.500 seconds. So we're going to drag our cursor to that point and then we're going to click on text. And we're going to click on from cursor position and then we're going to click on OK. We're going to create our text block and then you can add your text. So and then once you have added your text, you can just select the text, go to editor and then you have different text effects. So over here you can see recoloring. You can change the color of your text. You can also on the right side, you have your fit to height, fit to size, fit to width options for your text as well. Now you can customize this text according to whatever your personal preference is. Now you can also lock in your text and that's going to make it easier for you to navigate your text around your video. And if you want to add some geometric shapes, you can see on the left hand as well, you have some lines, you have uh, different options to add different geometric shapes that you can add. You can add rectangles or whatever might suit your general formatting. So the ball is totally in your own court. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're able to use the VSTC video editor and I will catch you guys in the next video.